we are going to analyze the silver chlorine electrode. This is a special tool we use it to check the reference voltage of uh, my boat, the structure of my boat, with respect to the water, with respect to the ground. Depending on uh, that range of voltage, we are going to analyze if the boat is properly protected, a little overprotected, or underprotected. We need the silver chloride electrode. Uh, probably you need an extension of uh, 25 feet, 15 feet of uh, uh, wire uh, number 12 with alligator terminals in both ends. Uh, you need the multimeter. We are going to use uh, the multimeter uh, on the scale of uh, DC, DC volts. And um, that's it. That's the only that you need. And uh, we are going to check what is uh, the meaning of, uh, of, uh, of that system. And the next step is uh, connect uh, the electrode uh, cable into the negative. And uh, the positive depends. If the boat is uh, in fiberglass, uh, connect the positive terminal of uh, the multimeter uh, to the block or to the element that you want to measure. But uh, if the boat is in a, in, a, in a metallic boat, in aluminum or a steel boat, uh, the positive terminal of the multimeter uh, should be touching any part of the structure over the water line. All right, that's uh, very important. Today we are going to use the silver chlorine electrode. The silver chlorine electrode is a reference voltage. And uh, we are going to check with the silver chlorine electrode introduced in the water, the cable connected to the negative of uh, the multimeter, and uh, the positive of the multimeter, the silver chlorine to the negative, and uh, the positive will be connected to the bonding, or to the block of the engine, or through the anchor. The metal that you want to check the voltage reference, according with the table that we have on the screen, yes, for fiberglass holes, this is the, the voltage reference recommended. For aluminum boats, for wood, those are the measures recommended. The electrode, the wire of the electrode is connected to the negative terminal on the multimeter selected on a DC. DC. And the, the positive terminal will be touching the element that we check the reference. In this particular case, we are going to touch one bolt in the motor mounts. One bolt, I remove the pane, and we are going to check minus 0 0.600, minus 0 0.600602. We are going to check other part of the block. For example, in the raw water pump, the elbow, the elbow of the raw water pump. Minus 0 0.440. Our boat, the reading was around uh, minus 600 uh, millivolts. Uh, this is uh, the situation. This is zero. This is the positive range. And uh, this is the negative range. Uh, this is minus 500. Uh, this is minus 1000. Uh, this is uh, minus 750 and uh, our boat is located here is uh, minus uh, 600 the range recommended for uh, this type of boat is here in between uh, minus 700 and minus 1000 uh, this boat is uh, minus 600 uh, that boat need a little more protection uh, probably uh, more things. Now we are going to introduce the silver chloride electrode. We are going to verify the condition of uh, the windlass, the condition of the anchor, the condition of the chain. Uh, because uh, we have suspicions that the chain is not connected to the bonding. Uh, we are going to verify the reference voltage in between uh, the chain and the electrode and the reference voltage of uh, the anchor, uh, the motor uh, with the uh, electrode.
Remember that uh, if you are an engineer, if you are an inspector, if you are a surveyor, you need to demonstrate to the customer where is the problem. In this particular case, we have a minus 600 millivolts. And uh, the recommendation for that boat, fiberglass boat with inboard engines, is in between uh, minus 750 and uh, minus 1000. We are pretty close, but uh, we need more protection. But uh, we need to demonstrate to the customer that uh, the boat needs more protection. 